Hey guys, it's me, Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching episode four of My Dear Gangster Opa. I know I'm a day late, but like I said, my other reaction videos, November, December is a time where my schedule is super unpredictable. So yeah, and but like yesterday, I Thursday, um, it wasn't because of school or holiday. It was because I, I went to watch Flo uh, Killer of the Flower Moon, which is this like amazing movie, you know, but it's like I expected it to be around two hours long. It was fucking three and a half hours long. I did not know that coming and I was like, when is this ending? I keep looking at my phone like, what is this? I'm talking to my friend. I'm like, three and a half hours? Like what? Okay, I did not expect it. So I watched that movie at four, came out there at like eight o'clock. I'm like, what the fuck? So I could not react to the show because I had like homework to do as well too. So yeah, so I'm watching it now. So without further ado, let's watch My Dear Gangster Opa. Honestly? I'm kind of nervous for this episode because obviously we left off the cliffhanger because, um, I forgot his name. What's Ping's character's name? Found out that yeah, his no, Kim you been is a gangster or has been in jail before. <laughs> oh, Not the shirt coming off. Why are you showing scars? <laughs> I don't know what that explains, but... Two. Two and... What's your name? I forgot. Ah! What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? You're actually telling the full truth? Yo. I don't expect that. ชีวิตของพี่ไม่น่าสวยงามอย่างที่กายคิดหรอกแต่พี่จะเล่าความจริงให้กายฟังความสนุกเดียวในตอนนั้นของพี่ก็คือเวลาเลิกเรียนเพ
to say goodbye to his dad. Like how this is predictable. Are you a college student? Why is this man has literally white hair? Not judging. You can go to college whenever you want, but it's just really interesting. And he walked out a changed man. He said, I need revenge. Ooh. Look at those eyes. Eyes of a killer. It's the skin of a killer, Bella. Sorry. Adrenaline. I did not expect that. <gasps> Fucking shit. Yo, he murdered that man. Sorry, I should not be laughing. Murder is bad. He and Tom hit Gan Kun when I'm lady. He hit what for Mimi, she will love. He's saying it's a lie. Could you even get? จำนี่พี่เคยบอกว่าชีวิตคนเราไม่แน่นอนนะหรือเปล่านั่นแหละเดี๋ยวเรื่องออริจินสตอรี่พี่ไม่มีโอกาสได้ลาพ่อพ่
สอบให้บูนะนะหลังฉากเปิดบอลเว็บพนันแล้วก็ธุรกิจสีเทาอีกมากมายพี่ไม่สามารถบอกกายได้หมดหรอกนะเข้าใจครับแล้วพวกที่ไล่ล่าพี่วันนั้นโอเคเพราะว่ามันรู้ว่าพี่มันอยู่ที่ This might be a very dumb thing. Obviously, I know the reason why, but you know all these. We have a handful of mafia stories in BL, right? Not just in BL, just just mafia stories in general. Okay, the the mafia man, the mafia leader, the mafia boss man. You know, Kamal. Is that Kamal? Kin, Vegas. Who else? Tang Yi. Everybody else in 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 the mafia scene, right? Are like, oh, okay. How about how about what's his name from Kiss Key? Uh, Fanzer, right? All these people are like, I fell in love. I need to leave the scene, you know, to be with my lovers to protect them. How about we get the opposite? Can we get can we get the opposite where the 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 innocent looking um lover it joins the mafia too? I know why they're not doing that because obviously the mafia is bad. We we don't want to get that influence in into society, you know. But still, still, imagine having a villain origin story for the innocent looking, um, uh, lead, the main character, the innocent main character who is so pure that the mafia falls in love falls in love with. But why can't we make him become evil? We always have the bad mafia member become the good person who leaves the mafia for love. We need the opposite. Okay, r a t over. พวกมันก็ไม่กล้าแตะต้องตัวพี่แต่เป็นพี่เองที่ไปทำพวกมันจนปางตายจนพี่ไม่สามารถกลับมามีชีวิตแบบเดิมได้อีกพี่เลยต้องออกจากโรงเรียนเพื่อไปทำงานให้เขาเขาชื่ออะไรนะฮิวชื่อฮิวครับชิวแค่ถามว่ามันคนเดียวเล่นพวกมันได้ทุกกลุ่มเลยเหรอใจถึงนี่ว่าป้าชอบว่าทำง่ายกับป้าไหมเพื่อนก็บอกเนี่ยไม่มีทะเบียนมันสามารถเอาไปยิงใครก็ได้ในแบบที่ไม่มีใครสามารถตามรอยมันได้แน่แน่จะทำง่ายกับป้ามีกฎอยู่สองข้อที่มันแรกสัตว์ and follow my lead I don't know ข้อเนี่ยห้ามโกหกป้าข้อสองห้ามหักหลังพวกเดียวกันเอง Yeah don't backstab but listen to me That's close enough เมื่อมันจับปืนแล้วเนี่ยมันไม่สามารถกลับไปเป็นคนปกติทั่วไปได้แล้วนะนี่สบายผมไม่คิดจะกลับไปใช้ชีวิตแบบเดิมอยู่แล้วครับหลังจากนั้นพี่ก็เริ่มทํางานให้กับเขาจากเป็นนักเลงตัวเล็กๆพี่ไปทวงเงินให้เจ้านายกลายมาเป็นลูกพี่แล้วก็กลายมาเป็นหนึ่งในสองที่คนอื่นๆให้ฉายาว่าเป็นมือซ้ายและมือขวาของคุณไพบูลนั่นคือชีวิตแม่ว้าว within nice few years แล้วพี่ก็บารีคงต้องทํางานตลอดชีวิตให้กับเขาพี่เล่าเรื่องทุกอย่างให้กายฟังแล้วตอนนี้อยู่ที่กายว่าจะรับได้ไหมผมเข้าใจทั้งหมดแล้วนะว่าพี่มันเป็นแบบนี้ได้ยังไงแต่สิ่งที่ผมไม่เข้าใจอะทำไมพี่ต้องโกหกผมเรื่องเปิดร้านชาบูได้อะก็ตอนนั้นพี่ไม่รู้จะบอกกายยังไง
พี่บอกผมเองไม่ใช่หรอว่าผมคือเพื่อนถ้าเพื่อนพี่ลองวันลืมใช่ไหมพูดตรงตรงอ่ะมันอาจจะฟังดูงี่เง่าเหมือนเด็กนะแต่เขาว่าเพื่อนสําหรับผมอ่ะมันสําคัญมากกว่าที่พี่คิดเว้ย I love how he's hurt that he didn't tell him the truth, and not because he's that uh, killing not be a member, but yee, so cute. Well, obviously he said that he understood. Guy, guy deal. Guy, to be forever. <laughs> to get the name, two and guy. Not a breakup before they even started dating. Mm -hmm. สวัสดีเปิดเมื่อไหร่ครับวันทำธุรกิจใหม่ได้บอกป๋าบ้างสร้างก่อนขออนุญาตนั่งครับร้านแถวนี้มันอยู่นอกเขตหายกินของเราคิดอะไรอยู่ทำแบบนี้หรือจะหาวิธีทางใหม่อยากไปจัดบ้านหรอผมไม่เคยมีความคิดแบบนั้นเลยนะครับป่าอย่างจำวันแรกป่ายื่นปืนให้เลยเมื่อคุณจับปืนแล้วเนี่ยปืนไม่สามารถกลับไปเป็นคนปกติทั่วไปได้แล้วนะ And what if he's gonna be understanding like tomorrow? ไม่มีวันลืมครับ Or boss ที่ผมมาเปิดร้านที่นี่เพราะอยากขยายพื้นที่เพิ่มเติมให้กับป่าพี่ยังไม่แจ้งให้ทราบเพราะกลัวคนอื่นเขาไม่เห็นด้วยผมอยากรอให้ทุกอย่างเข้าที่เข้าทางก่อนย่านนี้เคยเป็นที่ของเสียโป้งมาก่อนแต่หลังจากงานศพเสียโป้งลูกหลานเสียโป้งก็ตีกันเองความเข้มแข็งก็ลดลงผมว่านี่เป็นโอกาสดีของพวกเราพี่จะเข้ามาเสี่ยงเพื่อเพิ่มความแข่งแกร่งให้กับป่าเพราะผมตั้งรากฐานที่นี่ได้มั่นคงแล้วพี่น้องของเราก็ได้เข้ามาทํามาหากินที่นี่ได้อย่างไม่ยากเย็นไม่ใช่ว่าจะหากินรับหลังป่าเรื่องแบบนี้ให้เป็นความลับอยู่แล้วครับ He said smart มันขัดกับกฎง่ายๆของป่าแล้วถ้าใครทำผิดกฎมันก็จะมีโทษแค่อย่างเดียวถ้าป่าคิดว่าผมโกหกหรือว่าหักหลังป่าป่าก็ลงโทษผมได้เลยลอบเดอะโชว์น่า afraid to go hard love it จะวัดใจป่าทีหมากับคนมันต่างกันที่อะไรรู้ไหมความซื่อสัตย์หมาถ้ามารู้ว่าใครเป็นเจ้าของมันมันจะรักภาคดีอย่างที่สุดจนวันตายและทั้งที่หมาไม่ซื่อสัตย์ขนาดนี้คนไม่เอามาใส่เป็นคำดับใช้หมาสันดานหมาทั้งทั้งที่หมามันดีกว่าคนบางคนสิหมาเรียกหมามาเยอะตัวไหนไม่เชื่อหมารู้หมด
the two. Wait, shy. ไม่อยากให้ทิวเป็นสัตว์กัดไอ้คนที่มันทำผิดกฎหมายใช่เหรอครับก็ไอ้คนที่มันโกหกต่อว่าทิวหักหลังป่าเคนจิผมว่าที่มันทำไปเพราะว่าเป็นห่วงป่านะครับฝีมือดีแบบมันดูดับปรแคนเทอร์ก็ชิดกฎก็ต้องเป็นกฎสิวะไม่งั้นกูจะปกคอใครได้อ่ะมันนักไอ้สัตว์ Oh, back to Depresso. If it's blob, I'm fucking flip. At least it's not blob. <gasps> not quitting. Oh. Hey. I feel like some people are gonna say, "Oh, they literally hung out like three times. Why, are, like, he's so sad about it." It's, it's. I don't know if it's like an introvert thing, but like, I understand why he's feeling like this. Cause like he, you. the trust he puts into a friend, it's hard. I'm, I'm like an extreme introvert too, and I'm slightly. Low self-esteem as well. And once I become friends with somebody, it takes a long time to become friends with somebody too. The connection. ไม่ค่อยอยากออกอ่ะไปเถอะกูอยากกินไอติมอ่ะเขาปลูกมาในร้านหูเราเลยสับสนผมควรจะปฏิเสธใช่ไหมเดี๋ยวมึงไม่
Nih ya. Eh. Cek boleh di. Saya ku hing ngene. Oi. Hing ku long lah, kap. Hmm. Oi. Ku. Ku cakap kan tuan mung yim na kai. Mun tu kan yut ni bi chua kan da. Ni khai sai ta ku ai. ที่บอกความรู้สึกบางอย่างส่งมาที่ผมที่ลากันถ้าผมไม่เข้าข้าตัวเองผมว่าผมรับรู้ได้ว่าความรู้สึกอะไรของผมอยู่100 percent. 100 percent. What? It's like I feel like I think at the beginning he generally didn't realize that he has feelings for guy, and at the once. Guy started like dissing himself and started like, or maybe he did. I can't believe, but he's like two way. I don't know if I said this before already, but I think two things. I think one one thing is he didn't realize he likes him, but then he started. The guy started dissing himself. He's realizing oh he likes him, but at the same time he can't kind of accept that he likes guys or he like doesn't want to. I don't know. Doesn't want to. I don't think he's he's not he's not that. Close about his relationship with friends and stuff like that, or I think another one is like he's always known that he that he realized that he likes him, and then he realized what guy was trying to do during that like uh, during the birthday. So he found a girl who likes him, and at, got really close to her. Go, go, yeah, goes close to her, and then and then like become a relationship with her, so she, he can kind of distance himself from guy that like, kind of lied to himself that he he likes girls and not guys, and then go that. But like once. Two became became came into the picture. He got got really jealous, so that's why he's kind of being possessive. Still, fuck him, but I think that's two way. I feel like the second one will be a more in the second theory that I have is a more interesting thing because we explore him like I don't know being a dick. They're both both version of him is a dick, but. <laughs> This is more painful to guys. Perspective. Suspenders. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> Literally just finished gushing over Jimmy. Now it's mean. <laughs> I'm mean, like I said last week. The finest looking actor I've ever seen. He's such like he was born to be an actor, or be a celebrity, like that facial, the, the proportions. Yeah, they will do that. No, fuck him. I'm not scared, Pi. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm not like Pi. I don't have friends. The size of the friends I have is like a day. I don't think I'm going to be afraid of them. I just want to keep them in the world of the game. Rodi, I think that. 
จะเป็นทางที่ผมอยู่ได้ผมคิดนะพวกมันเป็นที่ที่ผมจะแบบแสดงตัวตนของผมมาได้มากที่สุดอะแต่นั่นแหละคนอื่นคงไม่ได้คิดแบบผมคนอื่นนี่หมายถึงพี่ใช่ไหมเอาจริงนะพี่ไม่ผิดเลยที่พี่เป็นแบบนี้อะที่พี่ไม่บอกความจริงของผมตั้งแต่แรกผมเข้าใจจริงๆนะเพราะถ้าเป็นผมอะผมก็ไม่บอกนะถ้ากายเข้าใจอะทำไมถึงไม่ยอมคุยกับพี่ผมเข้าใจเรื่องพวกนั้นทุกอย่างแต่ผมก็ยังเสียใจอยู่ดีอะผมไม่รู้ต้องทำยังไงไม่รู้นะว่าทำไมกายถึงรู้สึกแบบนี้เพราะมันออกมาจากความรู้สึกที่กายเป็นกับพี่คืออะไรกายชอบพี่ I was expecting him to say that by hand oh my gosh ที่กายรู้สึกแบบนี้โกรธแบบนี้เพราะกายก็รู้สึกเหมือนกันว่าสนิทกับพี่มากที่สุดแต่มันเหมือนยิ่งใกล้ยิ่งเหมือนกลับไม่รู้จักกันมันเลยทําให้กายผิดหวังพี่พูดอะไรพี่จะรู้ดีมากกว่าตัวผมได้ไงอ่ะแล้วกายก็พูดมาดิว่ากายไม่ได้ชอบพี่พี่จะได้ไปแล้วก็เลิกยุ่งวายใจ I love how their relationship is starting off They're like we're, we're going straight to it Fall in love quickly Just like Ayn and I You know why he understands more than you? Because he has the same He loves, he likes you And the closer you get The uncertain it is พี่ก็ชอบกายเหมือนกันพี่รู้ตัวตั้งแต่วันที่พี่เจอกายว่าพี่ชอบกายแต่ที่พี่ไม่ได้บอกความรู้สึกออกไปเพราะพี่คิดไม่ออกว่าจะบอกตัวตนของพี่กับกายยังไงแต่ตอนนี้กายรู้แล้วมันเลยทําให้พี่ตัดสินใจได้พี่จะออกจากวงการนักเลง no พี่ยังมีกายอยู่ข้างๆ no join together ให้พี่ทําเรื่องกายได้ไหมA kiss? Episode three? Are you kidding? These two are always fast in their series. Okay, so that was my reaction to episode three. Uh, oh, episode four of my dear gangster Opa. Okay, I when I was watching, like as I watched the scene played through at the end at the beach, I kind of expect, oh, he's gonna call, it, he's gonna like um, confess that he likes him and everything. But overall, like step back coming into the story wise, did not expect him to have to like commit and like announce that they have feelings for each other so early on. But like, very on point for me and Ping, I think. Very on point for obviously because I love Nai. They kind of express Ming's uh, Ming's character kind of express that he likes Ping's character in I love Nai early on too. So pretty on point. I like that. I like that. You know, I don't know. It's like even though I like when we see some diversity in the act in like acting and stuff in the roles actors play, but for some reason I just really liked it. It's like a lot. I don't know how to say this, but I don't know. I had a lot of issues. I think with the storyline. I think it was not the greatest storyline, but I just really enjoyed Ming and Ping's acting, and that's the romance in general. If you know what I mean, not not like a storyline, but like a like the, like the feelings they have for each other in general. And I think this show has a much better, I think, um, storyline. You know, wise and but like so bring the characters characteristics of I, the character the things I liked about Elon Nai's characters into the story as well. Just like the like. Father-like figure from Min's character, the more like understanding, understanding of their feelings, pretty like solid in how they think compared to 
uh ping's characters being more like questioning and like experiencing things and stuff like that i, I don't know i really like that those characters so i bring it to one with a really good storyline i think it's just it just like, enhances what i loved about the story if you know does that make any sense but yeah okay very interesting story i I need to give Y a little a break, I think. I feel like, ugh, no, 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 not, nope. After I said it out loud, I was like, <laughs> I'm not giving a break. This man is crazy. But yeah, so we kind of, we got overall this the story of like how he, how to became a mafia gangster kind of person and stuff like that. I, I know it's going to be a long road of, ahead of them to like get him out of the kind of the gang, the gangster the gang and everything because he is really number two right now and stuff like that. So it's going to be hard. But I'm excited to see how that's gonna go. Um, I love the the confusion. I mean, like, okay, so like I like I said in episode one, I really resonate with Ping's character, uh, Guy, because what well, he, he has a hard time making friends and the struggle of making friends, the kind of low self esteem. I think I just like see myself in this character, and I think one thing is like in the situation where you have a very limited amount of experience in making friends limited experience in romance it's hard to truly understand your feelings i, don't, I feel like even some people who has many friends or have many relationships also have that but in life it's just sometimes it's very hard to understand your own feelings and it's not until people look at you from the outside tells you what you might feel or like says things out loud that you're afraid to admit out loud till you finally understand like you, know, you feel like there i think there's a way there's like there is one direction of people outside telling you how you should feel and gaslighting you to another like saying things out loud for you to comprehend i feel like for me personally i don't want to project my experience onto him but like for me personally being in a situation similar to him being having not a lot of friends struggling with making friends and struggles of having self-confidence i view other people and people talking to me about their experience yeah. and talking to me about what they see view me really helps me understand my own feeling not to the point where like i'm like my friends are controlling how i feel but to the point where like oh wait that makes sense and i process these things too and i try to like understand my own feelings and just having other perspectives on things to help me understand my perspective if you know what i mean so yeah and so i kind of understand how he kind of he, i think he was confused i think he obviously i think he used to like what at the beginning but once he got closer to to become very close he has transitioned those feelings those real romantic feeling to two and because he's so close to him and everything i think playing games he was be I, he was able to be his true self around two compared to while he i think he had to hide a little bit to try to try to like acclimate hit was personality with his personality if you know what i mean so I think like there's a point where they're really close, but once you started finding like romantically in love, I think like in college, like, when people actually, you know, when you're high school, you have one personality, but you grow a little bit more in college, and you you, you develop your own personality, who you are. There, I think, what kind of changed a little bit, too. I think where they're both growing, you know, separately. So like he, but he's always because he's always liked Wa, Wa that he tried to like become like Wa, you know, Wa, and everything. So I think that's the part where. The dissonancing and the not liking him as much comes comes into play because he's able to connect and understand to and be himself around too instead of not being able to be himself and while well, because obviously if you remember in episode one he said he followed Wa to college while doing a major he doesn't like because of him so it's like there's that dissonance between those two already as they went to college and stuff like that so I think so I think yeah so that's really and then for Wa's character still kind of confused but i think my biggest guess is he he knows that guy liked him but and he kind of have these feelings as well but he's been suppressing those feelings because he cannot accept them maybe because he, the guy is a guy a male you know i i think that is the easiest thing that i that i can think of to explain the situation obviously or he should be a big ass douche and gaslights him and is possessive and crazy friend and wants a girlfriend but also want a friend to control possibility i don't really care either because i don't like his character anyway so i don't i don't see him much as a a big role and everything going on later so yeah yeah that's pretty much it my reaction my thoughts uh, comment down what you guys think about the relationship and the speed of things are going and how it's gonna go in the future 
Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social media link down below. See you next time. Bye.